is the glaive like whole, could I use like a like a piton or something to like wedge the door shut? Yeah, if you had like a piton, anyway? you could definitely set it up so that the yeah. glaive is like wedged and you don't have to actively hold it. Yeah, so sort of like I'm thinking. Away. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he's just gonna you know discretion uh, you know. Whoa, crazy, a house on fire. <laughs> Don't see that every day. <laughs> okay, people, nothing to see yeah. here. <laughs> Move right along. Here. No more normal adventuring heroics here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we so feel gonna... super heroic right now about all of these things that have just happened. I'm going to, yeah. Our council meeting, the outbreak announced. Food rations plan, Mia's pressure mounts. Patient zero we deliver, hopeful for a cure. More leads to follow, delays we cannot endure. A visit to the Shadowhelm manse to track down the dagger's deputy. We gather rations as well to deliver to the refugees. Coming upon the safe house, a curious sight. A dark visage looms, and all is not right. Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Peak D and D. What? <laughs> so last time, it's fine. you guys put a bunch of food in a bag, uh, handed over a huge sum of money for the uh, for the amount of food you purchased. It wasn't our money. Uh, no, <laughs> indeed not. Well, maybe could have been. <laughs> But uh, you guys did the honest thing, Net bought zero. a whole bunch of uh, food to bring to this Thavian safe house, uh, and then you got there, and something seemed very off very quickly. Uh, the house is very quiet, and uh, you are pretty sure that you saw one of those wispy clouds of black foulness uh, that have been, uh, you know. And that was the one that you, Mino saw at the window? Mm -hmm. Yes. When we were back there? Only yeah. Mino and Kane have seen me so far, but they've been like clouds of oh, like crap. ash or just darkness just blowing in the wind. The ends of my friends. They and that was, at the, the that was at that whole section of town too that we passed by, right? Yeah, there was a section of town, a district, uh, the Venati district, yeah. that looks Had like there was a lot of contagion in that area. Uh, last you saw it, it looked like the hammer hands were patrolling the streets, sending everyone back into their homes, and pro and uh, also erecting barricades uh, on certain streets to keep areas locked down. The tiki tiki so monster. it's going great in Mir. <laughs> Things are fine. Uh, we left off with you guys just having walked into this safe house and seen something move. I thought it was... Yeah, can we get, can we get a clear picture of where it, All right. where it was? Yeah, so I'll show you here on this. So you guys are at this uh, little entrance here. Okay. There's a short hallway, uh, three doors. Uh -huh. You are pretty sure you saw the cloud float into this room beyond the door. Towards I, me? On the western side. Towards me? Uh, yes. I would like Play to use the amulet and cast Detect Thoughts. All right, let's what do you have see that? what happens with that. The wind, uh... Yeah, the wind color amulet. Yeah. Very good. And it is not a wild surge. Dang it! Oh man. Let me just peep detect thoughts real quick. We're in very yeah. close quarters here. I hope it's if, not a wild surge. I mean, so any one creature within 30 feet, intelligence of three or less, doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But surface thoughts, um, and yeah, so... Come on, intelligence three. Yeah, hopefully that'll let me... We can at least deduce if it is conscious or right. sentient. Yeah. So are you going to continue concentrating on it, or are you just going to fire it off and see what you get? Well, for now, I'm going to fire it off and see what I get, mm -hmm. because it'll last for a minute, and then that is should also give me a sense. Yeah, that yeah. also give me a sense of if there's anything else alive. That's also very in true. here. <laughs> Aside from us, I'm assuming. Right. But and then I'll focus right. on it. So looking at the spell, it looks like you have to be able to see the creature. 
Uh, mm. And you do not currently see any creatures. Oh, it's not like a radius thing. No, it's one of those addition changes. <laughs> oh. Well, how does that work for invisible creatures? If you know something, if you don't know something's there, but you can still detect its thoughts. Maybe you uh, presumably you can't use it on invisible people. But it's it's like the last thing it says in the paragraph. Yeah. Oh really? Most of the duration. You can also use the spell. Think you creatures you can't see. I see when you can't. So just a paragraph that contradicts the first paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because why? Quality product. <laughs> uh, so. Great. If you've read this far, <laughs> ignore everything else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Congratulations. <laughs> um, however, you want answer to question number twenty-four only. <laughs> Search for thoughts within 30 feet of you. I see. Can penetrate barriers with two feet of rock, two inches of any metal other than lead, or a thin sheet of lead. Okay. You do, in fact, get some thoughts. Okay. Uh, You are just, you know, you fire off your sonar, and it seems that beyond the door directly in front of you at the end of the hallway, Mm -hmm. you are detecting thoughts. Okay. Uh, And the surface level thoughts are... Let me see here. Uh, there's a little bit of a cacophony. It seems like you're getting multiple thinking creatures beyond that door. Okay. Uh, but mostly they are... Uh, I can't believe we came here. Okay. Uh, we've come somewhere worse. <laughs> sure. Oh. <laughs> Out of the frying pan. I wish she would hurry fire. up and die in the next room. Anxiety, anxiety, You have one anxiety. jerk in there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, I will... So at, multiple. Yeah, I will at least, I will whisper to my friends, I believe the refugees are straight ahead behind that door. How do you... How'd you figure that out? Uh, d- detecting the thoughts. I mean, I know you're thinking about your poor bird. Did you hear about? <laughs> Did you, you mean Quentin? <laughs> <laughs> or is it Quinn? I can never remember. Am I Qu- I'm Quinn. No, Wait. you're Quentin. <laughs> yeah, you're Quentin. With a K. You're in the alphabet. In Subscribe my... for more content like this, folks. <laughs> Quality. Uh, but we saw Quality. one of them. CKQ, CKQ. We saw one of them clouds go in the other room. Did it come from? Did it come from there? Yeah, Maybe we shouldn't go in there. Well, I, I would like to sneak. We can Is the that. door closed? Uh, all yes, room? you see three doors uh, besides the one you came in through. All of them are closed. Did you Did you hear anything? Any thoughts to the left in that room at all? I'm still wearing my blanket. Yeah, yeah. yeah you Aren't did not uh, detect any thoughts from that room there that's facing Tony at uh, the table. I did not. That's where the like cloud no. of blackness went. But I am willing to go. Did you see it too, Tris? A cloud? Did I see a cloud? I don't think you, you did know. not see a cloud. Okay. Uh, I did not. I don't know what you're talking about. I believe, I believe you you've that got room. the fever dreams. No, no, no I I've, I've seen it too, which I guess maybe I have. Are those dreams. windows outside? They are. Can I go peek around through one of those windows to see if I see a cloud in there? Okay. Uh, oh, like right here? Yeah, totally. Yes. So, yep, stepping out and then back around. Uh, you see into the room. Uh, you see very much what's on the map. There is a spinning wheel, uh, some bits of furniture. You uh, do not see a cloud. Go back to is my that friends. a fireplace? I don't know. Yes, probably. <laughs> Look up. <laughs> like in outside. <laughs> I mean, it's Is the there anything? Sky. I'll look up. I'll, I'll step outside and look up. Uh, well, make a perception roll. In the daylight. Staring at the sun. <sighs> Triple disadvantage. <laughs> I did roll a natural 20. Ah! Unfortunately, it's going to be a 16. Disadvantage is a beach. However, 16 is still pretty good. Expertise, so, baby. There you go. You do not see a cloud uh, coming out the chimney. Okay. You do, however, see something else up on the roof, though. Uh, it looks like they've got some kind of reddish, brownish mold or uh, something that's growing around the chimney. That's probably fine. Let's sneak in and talk to these refugees. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. There's some mold on the ceiling, but let's figure this out first and we'll go from there. That doesn't seem right. No, it doesn't. Great. What would you like to do now? I feel like something's running. Mr. Diplomatic, would you like... It's either the cat monster, <laughs> the sick man, 
or <laughs> the purple. <laughs> or the purple. Or the purple. I'm <laughs> fine. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who would like to go first? I mean, I. Where would they like to go? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We have the food in our hand. You got it in a bag in your hand. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll sneak up there. I'm just gonna stand in the door and look. Actually, no. That I, way. I, I mean, I'll go quietly, but I'm gonna just just go up and knock on the door. Uh, the door straight ahead. Yes. Okay. Where we you heard voice, you heard thoughts. That's of. where the refugees are. Elaine, go back to bed. You're not well. This this isn't Elaine. What? Who are you? We Door were, dash. We were told to bring you rations for the refugees that live here. Yes, that's us. Don't open the door. Why not? Why? It, it's sick. Elaine in the next room. She's she's very sick. Ah, yes, we've we've had a bout of that ourselves. That that tracks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but there's actually someone thinking in that next room? Or yes, is there, there are several someone's thinking. Oh, but in Elaine's room? Uh, oh, okay, right. that way. Sorry. Uh, I guess now that you know that someone's in there. Yeah, now that you know that somebody's turn there. Turn your focus over there. Uh, you're not sure what they mean by the next room. You're still not detecting anything in that room. Okay. Uh, on the other side of the house, though, if you were to face the, uh, the eastern wall, uh, you are registering some thoughts. Okay, cool. And they're not terribly coherent. <laughs> yeah, the fever dream. What does Elaine, what what symptoms does she have? Her skin, it's cracked. Yep. She's bleeding. <laughs> that tra- she yep. was screaming something awful, but she stopped a while ago. Yeah, that tracks. And any any idea of what a bedpan looks like? No. Cool. We didn't check. Okay. No, no, no reason. Just curious. Um. I suppose, yeah, we have these rations here. I suppose we'll just leave them for you. Because we don't want to get sick, no, too. please, can you... I think that she stopped screaming because she died. Can who, you take her out? Who, Elaine? Yes. Take her out where? I don't... I anywhere but here! Oh, I see. <laughs> Unclean, ugly. Well... We'll see what we can do. I don't think I can get any sick, I'll do it. I was going to say, I was going to go back to you guys and be like, well, they want Elaine, apparently, who's sick like you, to get out of here, but I don't know where we're going to take her. I also don't know if this is very contagious in the way that they think it is. I don't fucking know. I mean, how much do we know about germ theory? Uh, this being a, uh, <laughs> a medieval setting? Bugger all. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, well, I will tell you, she is still alive. She's not well, but she is alive, yeah. Should we take her to Xantis? Well, it would be a live specimen that he would be able to actually check out. Just bring the died. town doctor enough corpses and this thing will all go away. <laughs> I mean, I mean well, I what's know. that better? First it was a corpse, now it's a living corpse, oh, and then it'll be something go. different. <laughs> we had the thought of leaving you there, to be honest. <laughs> What? <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> Come again. <laughs> Come again. For science. It's the biggest contribution you can make. The noblest of all. Uh, yeah. Donate your organs. Get yourself vivisected, <laughs> man. I think I just coughed up one of them. Exactly. <laughs> Donate blood and organs. All right, so, well... Well, well let me go in and check on the, the lady. The lady. The la- all right, we're going to check on Elaine, your friend, and see what we can do. Thank you. None of you are sick in there, though, as far as you know? No, we're all fine. But we don't want to be around Elaine. Yeah. Inside check? Roll it. Just in case they're lying, I suppose. You're inside. So I'll take the hippity hop. Um, wisdom plus one. That's a 19. Yeah, they sound like they're on the level. Through a door, they sound fine. Cool. Is anyone else in there with Elaine? No, not that I know of. But you said you, there were a couple of people coming from that room, right? No, I think no, that, that was my mistake. Yeah, I thought yeah. he was facing the other way. Oh, <laughs> no, sorry, sorry. All right. She's in there by herself then. Yep. For now. <laughs> <laughs> Ominous. Yeah. Well, go I'm just saying, I'm expecting a bird man <laughs> to show up. It's taken it care of. <laughs> call her hearse. Right. right. I call you hearse. Uh, sorry, I'm going to go around 
into this room. Okay, so opening that door, <laughs> I'm gonna o- a look in the you room can. first if I can. Because <clears throat> that's what they said four. that she is, right? She's through that way? Yeah. So this room uh, does not have a person in it. Uh, this appears to be a common room. There's a lot of chairs set up. There's a, a bookshelf. And most of this room is overgrown with reddish brown mold. I'm still wearing my blanket. <laughs> have, I, have we seen this anywhere else? Mm, let's see. In the cave? Do you have. Does anybody have nature? Anybody who's looking at this? Anyway? Not proficient. Well, I mean, you know, you can fake it. <laughs> I mean, uh, Jack I've got, of all trades, baby. I got a plus three to nature. You can roll oh, it if well, you like. Two. Better than my plus two. Yeah, nine. <laughs> nope, never seen this. Sh- <laughs> this I mean, oh, wait, that's an ability score right, check, right? Oh, it is. I have. So it's skill actually checks less. Ability? No, yeah, skill checks. Count. Nineteen. Mm. Nineteen. Yes, nine. Okay. Also so, nineteen. Very nice. So you two peek in around Kane. I also saw it up there. For what it's worth. Yeah, you also you did also see it up. It is the same fungus that you saw. Oh, that's on the chimney too. If it's fungus, you're not hundred percent sure it's a fungus. It could be like you know a slime mold. Uh, but pudding. Yeah, could be pudding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yuck. <laughs> uh, anyway, what you uh, know with your your mighty mighty nature checks is that you haven't seen this exact. Uh, stuff before, Mm -hmm. but you have a strange uh, theory. Uh, You saw, when you were investigating the site of the alleged murder, Mm. that uh, the Fira's blood was beginning to congeal in a very strange way. Yeah, it was kind of sticky. It was very sticky and cloying and didn't seem inclined to dry out. Uh, If this is some sort of fungal growth or mold, it might be the end result of whatever was happening with Ilya's blood. Whoa. It also makes sense why that druid, the spory druid, was so interested in what was happening as well. Seems like it might be kind of people lick walls and stuff. Yeah, that really checks out. Well, no. I'm gonna go like to the door to the. Because as we all people. very clearly gonna, remember, yeah, I was forced to do that. that. I'm gonna go to the other people. And be like, uh, did you happen to notice any mold that was growing in any of this house when since mold? I've been here? No, nothing of the kind. Not red, brownish mold anywhere. Sounds gross. No, we don't know anything about that, sir. How long have you been here? Oh, uh, three nights now. And since the three nights, you haven't seen anything like that? No. I ask if anyone's died. Aside from Elaine? Yeah. Elaine's has alive. Any, has anyone else, part of you, how many of you are left? Like, how, how many came and how many of you have oh, left in this there, room? There were nine of us. Uh, uh, the rest of us, besides Elaine, are in this room. We've Which been is, staying here all day. So there's eight of you in there? Yes. Oh, so no one's died yet. No. <laughs> Yet? <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? Are we going to die, no, sir? It's fine. Well, I mean, just stay day, in the room. One day you will, but. <laughs> no, the I don't that. think <laughs> going into an abstract discussion about the nature of mortality is going I mean, to provide I'm an that elf, much so comfort. I have hundreds of years. I don't know about you, but yeah. one day we're all going to die. <laughs> oh, dear. Candles <laughs> in the wind. I don't think I got. I broke out my hard, my, 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 my hardcore music. We're all gonna die someday. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. All right. Um, Bardic inspiration. <laughs> so, or disinspiration. I'm wondering. Bardic diss track. We if we can get rid so of this somehow. Like, can we get? What? So there was nine of them. There's eight of them in there. I mean, I don't. We're not gonna burn no down the house. <laughs> well, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. What is the What is the house made out of? It's made of wood. It's shit. Well, I guess my fire bolts wouldn't be the best idea. I mean, yeah. I'm just saying, like, because last time we started a fire, it still what hasn't if, gone okay. out. Just Hear me out. And it caused a big black cloud of. It's the poo-poo. afternoon. Are we like we're in town? Yes. I don't think we can kill it with fire, is all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, you haven't tried hard enough, my friend. What if <laughs> what if we get them to climb out the window? We light this place ablaze. 
I like this plan. The fire, the fire crew, whoever. You like this plan? <laughs> come racing towards the fire, but we cheese it out with the refugees back to the cavern. We're gonna take them to the ice weasels. No, no, our cavern. The way, the one we came in from. The it's like a lie. day away. No, it's not. It's a ways oh, away. It is a ways away. It's a ways away. Well, we could tell them where it is on a map and they can go. <laughs> We're going to reveal the secret hideout. What secret that we hideout? we teleported to. Yeah, I'm no longer in favor of this place. <laughs> well, my point is, is I want to torch this place. Where can they go? The refugees. Bob's your Yes, we're, we're just starting from the burn this place down and kind of working it out from there. <laughs> I mean, fair. End result. Reverse engineering. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. Well, let's, let's find out if it does. Can we go check on Elaine first? Just go, before well, we, before you, you set this them, place on fire. Or go look through one of the windows of the other room. If you have to... Is she in the far room? I guess she's in, exactly I, sure. I think this room, this bedroom. That is consistent with your uh, your detecting. Yeah, no, okay. I'm going to be fine. I'm already sick. And it's fine. The mold doesn't put off any thoughts or anything like that. The mold does not appear to think. Mm. Wonderful. Well, Elaine. Hello. So you are London calling. Are you going? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to walk. Is it like on the floors and stuff or just mostly on the walls? It's mostly on the walls. Right. Uh, the door? <laughs> is it on the door? There is some on the door. Touch it. Crap. Touch it with your tongue. <laughs> Knock no. with your tongue. <laughs> Not going to lick the wall again, Kate? <laughs> nope. Knock nope. with nope. your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> what did we learn? Ooh, fiery cinnamon. <laughs> Oh, you're a little bit. I don't know. Way too, like way too flavorful and tasty for this. Is it? Is it flaky? Is it like flaky? <laughs> like if I no, kind of it's, mossy. It's like the blood we. It saw. seems like it's kind of sticking to itself. <laughs> Do we want to take a sample? I mean, That's what I was just thinking. Like maybe we should, should put some in a cabinet. <laughs> just. <laughs> In a cabinet? <laughs> we should put that in a cabinet. I, like, uh, that's, just that's a new a, euphemism for murdering. She just picks that <laughs> armoire, puts it in a yeah, cabinet, exactly. carries the armoire out. This yeah. seems so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, like, an empty bottle, flask, and, and scrape some off. Not with my hands, with my, like, pocket knife. You sure, sure, knife. so making, never making direct contact with the gross yes. stuff. In the and event then, that there were an airborne component to this. I am sort of like so wrapped notes. up in a bunch of blankets. Just totally forgot and you have a blanket over your mouth. Yeah, yeah I have a blanket <laughs> over my mouth. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something that you're not gonna hear much <laughs> for the remainder of chapter two. With advantage, you may roll me a con save. Oh good. Oh gosh. Huh. Okay. Uh that is so a con save. I have boogie cons. I got, uh, actually, it went up, because now I have plus seven. So it's, that's a 23. 23 is enough. You do not feel as though your, uh, your life has gotten any worse <laughs> after taking that sample. All right. And then I got to get through this door without touching it. Do I think, like, is it like, if I touch it with cloth on my hands, like if I use the blanket or something, or like, my first instinct. I'm just gonna go with my first instinct. I kick the door down. That's fair, fair enough. Fair. Yep. I was waiting for that. Yep. All right. So you are there. You are there. S Good. Strength check. Yeah. Roll it. What do you need? <laughs> At disadvantage. That's a ten. Well, this door is. Turns out. Oh, Eleven. Sorry. Eleven. Okay. Well, it turns out this door is rotted to hell. Oh. Good. <laughs> you. Uh, like, it's made of steel. This is what I thought. Kick the door <laughs> right in. Your leg breaks. <laughs> you even kind of have to pull your foot out after you just kick straight through the door. Uh, so yeah, within. Much easier than I thought. Quentin be. calling. So. You got it right. The mold situation in this room is markedly worse. Oh. This uh, this room does have mold growing across the floor. It's not completely covered. It's not like carpeted in it, but it is growing in patches all over this room. There is a single bed uh, with a woman who whose age is impossible to determine uh, because of the advanced stage of death song infection she is in. Oh, you're all correct. She is staring straight ahead, giving no indication that she sees or recognizes anything that's happening. Uh, her hair 
has begun to fall out in large clumps. Her skin is almost completely dry and covered with a mosaic of cracks and lesions, several of which are dripping blood onto the sheets. I close the door. <laughs> You're not in here. That door up in the hallway? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the uh, two of them. Guys, it's it's pretty bad. Um, Listening in the door. I don't know how long. Honey, late, pretty Elaine, rad. sweetie, we gotta go. It's time to go. Cover your mouth. Let's go. She she makes little noises, uh, but it doesn't seem like she is able to make any no, uh, sort of comment or converse with you. Just fireman carry her out of there and let's get her down to that. Put in a sheet. All right. I'm gonna just bindle sack on the end of my axe. All right, <laughs> carry you, over. You, you resolve to begin gathering the gross mossy sheets. Oh boy, uh, I'm not gonna touch it. When there's a convulsion in her, uh, her Guys. mouth opens wide. You can see that her throat is bloody. Uh, it looks to you as though either the disease is like attacking and like destroying her vocal cords or she has been screaming a lot. Then motes of thick cloying blackness start pouring out of her. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Her eyes, her mouth, her nose, it's all just streaming out of her. And the shape of the cloud resembles a humanoid figure with a strange bird-like protrusion on its face. Pain? Birdman! Birdman! Queen, Quinn, 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 Quinton, Quinton. Darcel Jones and Wendell, get in here! Not Wendell. What is your name? <laughs> the other one? What? Sure. Watley! Why not? Do you want to go in there? I didn't think you and I would speak like this. Who are so you? that thought detecting thing you're going. Yeah. So first of all, you're keeping your, your feelings on it. Uh, you feel like the delirious thoughts stop. And then you start feeling cold and icky. Like physically, or like from the thoughts, or yeah. Like my well, yeah. Injury? I mean, yeah. Okay. It's almost a physical sensation, yeah, 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 but you. it's like you're not reading surface thoughts. You're Telepathy just you're sensation. reading someone and just getting a full body shiver from it. Uh, we, I don't that something is bad there, is in there. Is there a window in there? I speak to the it's Birdman. No, I will go in there. To the refugees. All right. So it seems like we have a few different ideas yeah, about fair. what should happen next. Yep. So I think the best way to figure out what order things happen in is to roll initiative. No, oh, God. <clears throat> I'm going to jinx myself, but my rolls are on point right now. Yep, you just jinxed yourself. All right. Who thinks they beat a 19? 21. Ooh, very good. Too fancy. You know, more than... <clears throat> I don't go first a lot. <laughs> oh, I have disadvantage on that too, right? Because it's a. It is an ability it's a, check. It's an ability check. Yeah, being sick. Now you know what the sun you feels know more like. Than, where the hell is your. <laughs> this is what the sun feels like. Air action, bad guy. There you are. Okay. It was <laughs> two. Triss? 13. Kane? Nah, 10. All right. So Triss and then Kane and turn them the right way. <laughs> and. All right. Ooh, what did the other side say? All of our, our stats. Same oh. stuff, but with some stats written down. Alrighty. Our medical record. <laughs> yeah, take your medical record. Vaccination cards? Sweet. So, Mino Moreland, it seems like your genius plan will be first. Um, <clears throat> I lean towards the door with the refugees, and is there a window in there? In where? In the room you're in. Yes. You should probably climb out of there. We boarded it up. You should probably climb out of there. And then I will turn my Jesus attention... <laughs> to the door, but I'm not going to go in yet. Not going in yet. Uh, Very well. Bad guys. Last, aren't I? Dang it. The cloud just floats closer to the door. What does one do? 
I'll, o- I'll open the door so I can see in, but I'm not going in. Fair enough. You can see in. Kane appears to be staring uh, with concern at something he can see through the door on the other side of the room. Uh, ten. So tell me, Kane, shall I take you now, or will we wait? Can we hear this, or is this just a hint? Uh, you are pretty sure you hear a voice. Okay. It doesn't sound like someone dying of the plague. No, it does not. It sounds very ominous. But he takes no further hostile actions at this time. Uh, uh, I can't. Can I respond? Or do I? I (laughs) Well, I mean, your turn's coming up. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Alright. Tris? He's talking to me. What is talking to you? Oh, Jesus. Oh. (laughs) Sweet, merciful Lord. Tris, you. you can see this one. This plague cloud resembles, to a T, the figure that has been haunting your dreams. You. Who? And there she is. What's going on? (laughs) I don't know, maybe if you walked in the damn room. (laughs) I don't know if I want to. You're a great adventurer. (laughs) What did I ever do to deserve you in my dreams? (laughs) It's not a matter of what you deserve. Does calamity come only to the deserving? No. It is indiscriminate, as am I. All right, well, then I'm going to use my action to... uh, uh, Torch the place? Probe the thoughts. (laughs) So we get a wisdom save, I suppose. All right, wisdom save. Gotcha. So if we were... Saving in a wisdom sort of fashion. 15 is what they need. Uh, he does beat that. Dude, I've never... <laughs> right? Never. Low-level wisdom saves are rough. <laughs> uh, I think that might end the spell? I'll check that out. Um, but that was my turn. All right. So, yeah, you're getting static and more icky feelings. Kane. I don't know who you are, smoky man. But I don't like you. Do do I think I could hit this thing, or is it just a cloud of smoke? Well, have you hit clouds before? It's definitely. It looks. I hear. I I can be less coy than that. It. it, (laughs) You don't have to be. (laughs) It doesn't look completely insubstantial. It looks. Hmm. Actually. You know that red brown mold that you just trudged through? (laughs) It looks like that. You're not sure. At what point in your life you've seen an incorporeal undead. (laughs) But for some reason you have. (laughs) And for some reason the frame of reference that your brain is latching onto is one of those. Oh, it's one of those. Whatever that is. Uh, alright. No further questions to myself. (laughs) Ah, Jesus. Alright. That, and that door's open or closed? That door is... Kicked open. <laughs> well, you're right, but the other, the, oh, door the one by me, the Moreland, yeah. is open. Yes, I'm in the doorway. All right. Get in here, close the door, <gasps> and I take a swing at it. Oh All God! Right. I believe he's lost his mind. He's punching fog. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a roll. Disadvantage. We'll Pull see if I can out. hit him if at it's all or not. Oh, that was a twenty, and then now I got a disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> I so know the feeling. Uh, yeah. Sucks to have disadvantage. That is, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. It's, it's a good time. <clears throat> Actually, I think if I have seen this before, I would I would grab, I would probably go for the blue Batorian ice axe. Your instincts tell you that's a good idea. Yeah, like I think one of those, and I'm like, Ugh, this thing that has some kind of connection. To anyway, so that that's a 17 to try to hit this guy. A 17 will hit. Nice. I would bonus action also rage. If That's I could fair. have done that as I take a swing. Uh, all right. Oh, that's a good idea. And then, so that's uh, great. This thing can be fun. Uh, oh, sorry. You should be. There's that. Six. Six. Two. Plus additional two. That is. <coughs> 
11 points of damage. 11 points of slashy slashy. But, oh, sorry, plus one, so 12, one cold damage. Right. So, doesn't seem to take as much damage as you feel he should. <laughs> but it just kind of looks up and regards you. Very well. Now it is, then. <laughs> it's you and me dance. Mina Morlin. You have a great feeling about things that are happening in the next room. I do. It's bad! <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> That's bad. Um, that falls is pre Colombian. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, do I hear any rustling, any movement from the refugee room? Uh, you uh, Around the time the door got kicked in, you heard a lot of movement away from the door. But uh, since I told him to, like, leave. You have not heard any... You're going to well, the... set it on fire with us inside. That, that's your plan here. No, that's not my plan. My Burn plan is ground. this thing is there, and I don't know what it is. They, they, sh they should just leave. Um, but uh, I tried and told them. But, so it's their issue now. One, five. I'll close the door on my way out. In, I guess. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Oh, it's that thing. Triss, you say it thinks. I could read its thoughts. They They're were, not very nice. They were icky. Cold. Uh, oh, our cantrips went up one, didn't they? Yeah. I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna cast mine slower. Very well. Uh, that is an intelligence save. An intelligence save, you see. I have INT circled, so I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Uh, 14 is what you need. Oof, roll the 20. Woof. Cool. <laughs> save or <yourself. laughs> A fascinating trick. Better than my crossbow. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. I'll throw take it at him! time with you. <laughs> oh, okay! <laughs> I'll take my time with you. Oh. You <clears throat> still have things worth taking. Mm, let's see about that. It's your turn. Mm. And I believe it's bad guys. Yep. Alrighty, so... Thing that happens... Oh, I guess I could try to do that. The uh, shape reaches out to touch you, Kane. Nope. And has a 19 to do it. Oh, uh, don't do it. Alright. You feel bad. Let's see how bad. Uh, you feel... Da, 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 plus three. You feel 17 bad. Ugh. 17 points necrotic damage. Ugh. Reduce your maximum HP yeah, by an equivalent right. amount. And okay. make a con save. Jeez. Woof. 17, so I don't even get to have that because it's necrotic damage. Nope. And off the top, baby. My max HP is now well, whatever that is. 49. You okay. see Kane's skin begin to visibly blanch in places that it hasn't been yet. Mm -hmm. This is bad. Oh, no, that's wrong. <clears throat> Override max HP. That's what I'm going to do. Alright. Cool. Uh... But also, since you're in melee mixing it up with him, go ahead and roll me a perception check, too. Oh. After your con save. After your con save, of course. Con save. Disadvantage, right? Not disadvantage. Oh, not disadvantage. Saves no. are a separate bad thing. Then I'll just reroll it. So you can make your saves normally. Okay. Uh, all right, yeah, because that's the next level. Uh, if I get exhausted. Then that is... Uh, I have 49 hit points. Um, that's fine. That's probably fine. Still more than me. I got a, I got a 22. Oh, a 22. Safe. Perfectly fine. What on earth are you worried about? Now make a perception check. With now you can make a perception check. With disadvantage. With disadvantage. I'm sure it's not a strength check? Because that's I'm pretty for. sure. That's a one. Cool. <laughs> You're pretty sure that your eyes are starting to rot. 
eyes are rotting. All right, so he did that. And he can do that. And that's bad guys. Trish, you're next. That's double digits. Yeah. Does a 22 hit? It sure does. Ah. Five points of fire damage. Five points of fire. <laughs> Firebolt? Firebolt is correct. You bolt him with fire that does appear to work. Cool. Good to know. True. And will that be all? Uh, I might step back. <laughs> <laughs> so, like. If only my crossbow was in a magical zone. There? Um, I'd have fire too. Yeah, and I guess I'll be like, uh... Do I have anything to say to this thing? No. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of... I it. mean, that's, more, a, that's implied. But sure, maybe. but I'm more... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't have anything to say. I don't know. Um, that's it. Very good. Uh, that will make it Caden's turn. Because I'll just deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. There, fire. Triss shot fire. I'm it's shooting hard. invisible <laughs> fire. Vitorian, uh, Vitorian battle axe again. And maybe it'll work one day. With uh, it's a, it's a 16 hit. hit it the does. Oh, okay, great. Very good. So, God, he's gonna Do you have an extra attack by now, or is that a later on? Pick? No, that's, I, I don't have a Oh, you split. Yeah, you attack. Got Uh, for, that is... Six plus two, plus one, is a that's again twelve points. Twelve, 12 points. Twelve points. One being cold. We'll do it on your turn this time. Go ahead and roll me another perception at disadvantage. All right. Two and a three. Well, then I have no new information for you. <laughs> so, uh, with with even with my perception bonus, it's like a nine. Yeah. If you're not breaking 10, you're not getting anything. Yeah. It'll get less cryptic the higher you get. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, right, and if that's everything... That is me. All right. Uh, and also, does that include the damage bonus from Raging? Yes, that includes okay. the plus. Just make it sure. Yeah. Uh, Mina Moreland, you are next. That's what I wanted to do, but... Now we appear to be punching smoke. So... Hmm. Yeah. That's, that's correct. It was, a, it was a pretty good call switching to your uh, actual weapon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Ow! Punching it probably <laughs> punching wouldn't have worked very well. <laughs> punching disease in the face! <laughs> I mean, I appreciate... Wouldn't that be so... Wouldn't that be nice? Satisfying. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure... I haven't done this one yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm able to do this based on the other spells I can cast. I love it. Uh, I I'm you. trying to think of the best way to try to do this. Maybe it's good that maybe he tries to see double. So I have Phantasmal Force. Mm -hmm. I can craft an illusion that takes root in the mind of a creature that you see within range, which would be him. And I want to craft the illusion of Cain. Because um, it seems like he's after Kane and wants to take Kane, so I kind of want to craft an illusion of Kane, and it can, it it's convinced that it can take damage from the illusion. It can deal psychic damage to the to the target. So I think that's what I want to do is kind of create an illusion of Kane to make him think he's seeing double. If that makes sense. Sure. Just go ahead and uh, place a place any mini on the map where. Where's, yeah. But it's an go. it's an intelligent save. Right. So if he makes an intelligent Kane. save, he knows it's not real. We we'll use red cane to make him show up. Red cane. Right. Uh, so that's not good. He's going to blow that with a five. Oh, wait, red cane is <sighs> so on a failed save, I create the phantasmal object creature or other visible phenomenon <laughs> of my choice, which will be cane. Um, the spell. Uh, it has no effect on undead or constructs. It's not undead or a construct. Cool. So it does. Oh, sweet. Do I know that it works then? Uh. Can I tell yeah, I kind of narrate basically. things so that you know when Fair things enough. fail. So um, yeah. Attack the target each round. Your turn. 
Yeah, and I guess the creature will attack. Can I, do I have to use an action? No, just on my turn it can attack. So I'm going to have it attack. It's probably a concentration spell then. Yes, it is. Okay. That is, yeah. So yeah. But it's not an action that I do that. It just can attack the target each round on my turn. Have it attack then. Look at um, you, new spells. Um, I'm envious. Fuck. How do I... <laughs> What do I add to this roll? <laughs> hmm. My, like, my, uh, um... Does the spell say? It's Phantasmal Force, right? Is that core? Uh, no, it's... Yeah, it is, I think, actually. Phantasmal Force. 264. 264, Phantasmal Force. Very good. Uh, uh, failed save, yada yada. Examine the Phantasm, yada yada. It doesn't really say what it would use. Take damage from the Part of me feels like, would it be my charisma bonus? Since it's my spell attack. My spell yeah, attack can deal 1d6 psychic damage to the target if it's in the phantasm's aura or within 5 feet, provided the illusion, yada yada. Uh, so does it just deal damage? No, it just, it's, he uh, he deals 1d6 psychic oh, damage. Oh, can deal. Just by being there. Cool. I'm going to have it, though, like, elude and try to, you know, time the damage with an attack, if that makes sense. Yeah, of course. So it's going to swing the axe that you're swinging also yeah, true. Yes. and do five psychic damage. Five psychic damage. Does he recoil in any sort of way? Uh, well, it does appear to do as much damage as you feel it should, which is cool. always nice. I'm going to be concentrating on that. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we got some tactics happening. Bad guy. I think that might be the best way to do that, right? All righty. So... Summoning your twin for me, I see. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you don't. You, you, you don't can't see it. I can't see it. No, like, yeah, yeah, no because totally. it's in his mind. It's not in anyone else. Oh, else's. sick! I, I know it's there, and he knows it's there, but no one else does. He's clearly thrown off. Uh, Kane, he misses you with a ten. Oh, yes, <laughs> finally. And Tritz. So what, you're just gonna save me for last, kill this whole town, and then you get to torment me in my sleep? Oh no, the plan isn't to torment you. You're going to take me from this town once I've finished raising it. I knew I was Typhoid Kitty! <laughs> typhoid <laughs> Kitty. Fuck. You are interesting. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Ha, ha, ha. Quite the charmer. Fireball! Interesting. <laughs> 23? Yes, I get it. I that will hit. Oh. Damn, that's cold. Six points of fire damage. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> All right, but yes, damage. Six points of fire damage yeah, to that guy. I, I can't roll above threes. A one? Yeah, a d10, whatever. <laughs> Unfortunate, but I'm sure that won't always be the case. It'll be great we'll when, your wild made, when you're wild-made. When you're wild made surge, it's going to be zeros all over the place. <laughs> Kane, your turn. All right. Was that uh, com- sorry? Was that conversation out loud so everyone heard what yes. he said to me? You said Great. things. Everybody heard him say cool. things back. Cool, cool, cool. Just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just dealing with the level of reality that we're on. Totally. <laughs> Let's Let's what's in the everyone's mind? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's um, real? Right. Who's fake? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. So that's that's fun. Um, mm. I don't. Well, know. I can see that. I, but I, I can't think see that. this might be a bad idea, but I gotta do it. I'm gonna uh, <laughs> reckless attack. So I. Gain advantage, but I already have disadvantage. So it's a straight roll, right? So this is yeah, a normalization tactic. Just a regular, yeah. Just gonna. But then it will get. He it. has advantage on me. Yes. After this. Uh, the other side of all that. right. Well, that's that's fantastic. That's like a twenty. Seven. Twenty anything is enough, nice. and twenty-seven definitely hits. That was worth the Vettori <laughs> We'll see. Max. Nice. Seven. Two for raging, 15 points of damage, one being cold. Okay, so... Sure. What? Maybe we can board this shit. What do you mean? Again, perception check at disadvantage. Come on, Kane! <laughs> Come on! Go searching for a hard Hey! Process. Wow, nice. 14 and a 15, which gives me a uh, perception is plus 5, so 19. 19! Okay, that is going to get you something. Ah, so... Uh, you've been hacking away with that Baetorian, uh blue ice axe. Uh, cool thing. You begin to notice, after uh, some pitched fighting here, that the blows you're striking with it appear to be... Well, they appear to be doing more damage. Oh. 
Uh, you get a scent as you cut through the fog, like it seems to cut really cleanly through the smoke. And like portions of the blackness seem like weighed down and just kind of float off of him. We got him on a run! <laughs> okay, so cold is bad. Is that what I'm getting? The, like the cold is doing damage and making it like settle? In a way, it seems like the cold might be doing more damage than uh, than you expect. Oh, all right. Don't like cold, huh? I'm not a fan. He doesn't like cold. We heard. Get some ice cream, quick. <laughs> rocky road. <laughs> Get the rocky road. Stop. All right. all right. And will that be all, okay? Uh, that is uh, yes. That is my entire turn. Bonus action. Mino Morland. Can I? I can't see that thing, right? Never mind. Sorry. You cannot see, no. I can't see what he's talking about. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm, yeah, and, and for, like, the, yeah, the illusion, I kind of want it going, like, in, in you know, into Ben, like, constantly going like this. Yeah, so sort it's of. kind of, like, looking like a double I see. For him. I see what you're doing. I know it's not going to, like, create disadvantage or anything, but just to, you know, yeah, maybe visually confusing. throw him off. Uh, but in that case, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna try to throw another mind sliver at him. Very so, good. Intelligence save. Int save coming up. Int save is a 15. <sighs> That's enough. Uh, but then it will take one point of psychic damage. Ow, oh, my brain! Not my brain. Very From good. The phantasmal. Yep. And I think yeah, I think that'll be my turn. Okay. So maybe I should try. Gain, call high or low. That's high. Oh, saves are high. Oh, it is. Oh. He lost track and is attacking the illusion. Oh! That is, however, granting him another intelligence save. That's fair. Uh, which he promptly fails with a six. At least he's still failing that because that thing's going in handy. There you yeah. go. Phantasmal force that I can't see. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> he just appears to be shadow boxing now. Nice. Or dramatically reaching out and touching. <laughs> uh, Triss, that makes it your turn. Yeah, I'm distracting him, Quincy. Uh, is is it? You're doing it, one. Well. <laughs> it's living. Correct. My name is one. Non-living? Don't know. Great. You know what? I'm just gonna yeah. try it. <laughs> uh, I don't really care. Uh, uh, based on the conversation and that things are hitting him and. <laughs> uh, uh, Prestidigitation says that it can chill uh, one cubic foot of non-living material for one hour. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Refrigeration. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's yeah, in the context try to of like chill food. one cubic foot. Yeah, like his, his face. Head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to see what happens if I press to digitate his face. Do you have to touch to the chill. object in order to? No, it's a ten foot range. Ten foot range. Fair enough. Up to an hour. All right. Uh, you got your hand drop the chicks. temperature. And he like snaps his face over to you. Oh good. Oh. It is not death that comes for your town, little cub, but life. Mm. Somehow I doubt that. Okay. <laughs> you know, I really doubt that. <laughs> A narrow perspective. Yeah, there are many like... more forms of life than your own. You sound like sure. a spoopy dude in a cave. You don't like him either. But it felt it in some sort of way. Or felt me do something. He felt you do something. Yeah. You're cool. just you're you're not convinced that you damaged him. Yeah, no, I don't think so. No, but you just want to make him uncomfortable. It's <laughs> 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 not a bad place to be. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> I feel pretty bad from where yeah. I'm staying. But... Nice. Way to go, Triss. Is it my turn? <laughs> Thanks. Uh Tiz. Oh. No, I'm that's Dark Sail Jones, Grand Jaguar. Of course. Uh, all right, great. I'm gonna. I get reckless attack again. That that seemed to work pretty well, so far. Smack him in the face with with a with a. Where's that nat twenty at? I know, right? That's a fifteen. Will that hit him? A fifteen will hit. Oh uh, yes. Yes. Uh, 12, 13 points of damage. 13 points. Is that... One, one of frost. One of frost. By, by this reckoning. 
Very good. And then, uh, do I think it, I might? Do I think magic would work around this guy? Like, could I get Red Cane in here? Uh, you don't or see not. any reason why magic would just suddenly work. Not around him. Right? Not I around just thought maybe he was. Yeah, like nothing he's done so far has indicated that's the case. Like a magic field or an anti. You're magic welcome zone. to try stabbing in the dark, but I no, haven't dropped right. any hints. Yeah, that's right. I, I didn't. It didn't. I didn't. It didn't feel right. I was just, you know, just trying to ask. Sure so you want three of yourself in this fight? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, right now I think I'm fighting him by myself, and he's just like huh? swinging no, next to me. <laughs> All right, that's me. All right, that's back around to me to Moreland then. Uh, I'm gonna double check something real quick. Just like to hit stuff. I'm going to get my crossbow out and shoot him. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. That's a 23 to hit. A 23 will hit. I'm going to expend one of my bardic inspirations uh, to do psychic blades, in this case, psychic arrows. Psychic bolt. Um, and do an additional 2d6 psychic damage, because it seems like my phantasmal force is working. So Good. Give me the uh, piercing damage and the psychic damage separately. Sounds good. F uh, seven piercing. Very good. Six psychic. Six psychic. Very good. Oh, and three more psychic from him. Yeah. There it is. All right. <laughs> you see the cloud begin to lose cohesion. The oh, whole God. time, it's staring at Triss. It we just can kind see, of dissolves. It dissolve. has eyes like it's staring. Yeah, like, you okay. can see like tiny pinpricks of like eye hole in its gotcha. smoky silhouette. Well done, Triss. I'll see you tonight. Hmm. And it's gone. Oh, no. No, let's not start moving minis yet. Oh, good. <laughs> yep, that's all right. Just kidding. All righty. What the? I knew we should just burn this house down. <laughs> that's what I said. I know. I agreed with you the whole time. Unless the refugees are Is armed. it them? So you turn around. The refugees are not armed. Oh. However, they are deathly pale with visible cracks on their skin. Oh, jeez. Like zombies! One of them is reaching out plaintively. That happened quick. Sir, please, I can't... I can't see. You can kill it, right? You can kill the disease. Please help me. See, now remember when I said yet? <laughs> So whose turn was that? It was Nito Moreland's. Bad guys. Great. So they are gonna... Shamble, shamble, shamble. There's only... Yeah, they, they shambled to get to this position. So I they're you. gonna... Only one of them can uh, reach anybody. And a Triss, what appears to be a, uh, a disheveled refugee woman, is reaching out plaintively for help and looks like she's about to grab you. She had a tinderbox, right? Misses you with an eight. Excellent. Yes. So we should. Torch. Yeah. It's time. <laughs> you uh, Triss, are your turn. Old man. <laughs> I say, <laughs> fireball. This is why no one in this town likes us. We consider burning them all down and alive. <laughs> no one even knew they were here. And they, all these refugees look like this? You can see uh, there's a bunch of them in the hallway. They all look infected. Okay. Well, then, this is not how I wanted to use all these charges, but that's cool. I will turn around and I will quicken a color spray. Nice. There you go. Right down the hallway. Uh, yeah, just to like catch as many as possible. Yeah. Actually, since it's the amulet and it doesn't matter, can I use. No, I can only use one uh, meta magic. Oh, hey, look, there's 10, uh, 15. Hey. Uh, damn, three eights. Okay. 39. So. Uh, yeah. So, uh, 39 total hit points. 39 total hit points. We'll be blinded. Okay. They are all blinded. Uh, they are already. 
possibly, but I assume like at least one of them said they couldn't see. So yeah, if I move now, hopefully they will have some sort of disadvantage. That is very to true. attack me. Mm-hmm. Um, I hear that. Is that window next to Mina Moreland look uh, operable? Uh, it does. How close is the nearest house? To this, to this one? one? Yes. This one is actually uh, fairly isolated. This was a specifically chosen to be a safe house because there's not a lot of other houses around. Perfect. Is it two-story or one-story? One story. <sighs> do I really want to... Do you have any... Do you want to... You, do you have any brilliant ideas? I was going to moan down, but... <laughs> Whatever you got going, I'm in a blind rage over here, looking at a dead lady. <laughs> uh, so then I'm going to move. Well, that over thing just crawled out of <laughs> this um, guy. I tried to kill. Just is it an out. action to open uh, a window or uh, to carefully open? Yeah, it would be an action to open the window. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to fire bolt the roof right above them. <laughs> All right. Catching. The house is now on fire. Are you starting to like. Well, isn't this great? (laughs) Well, it's not going to burst into flame like a tinder twig. However, you have set several planks of flame, yes. No, but what about the, what's the mushroom stuff, the mold doing to it? Is it pretty flammable, it seems? Uh, That part of the the room is not uh, on fire yet. I want to keep track of that. You're going to just watch carefully for a minute, try to see what it does? It's supposed to hit, yeah, but it's Kane's turn. Oh, shit. Well, let's see. Oh, damn it. I think this goes away if that guy's not there. On top yeah. of that, fireball. <laughs> yeah, no, well, it would have been with the color spray. But. No, that's what I mean, though. Like, the oh, wild okay. search. <laughs> and so... Remember I said the house was on fire? <laughs> the entire Thavian part of town was burned down. Yeah. <laughs> Greater good. That was me. <laughs> All right. Kane, your turn. Uh, you see lots of uh, confused and very infected-looking women... <laughs> currently standing underneath a burning beam. Uh, you have the uh, dead girl in a room behind you. <laughs> and Triss appears to be going for the window. What would you like to do? And just set the house on fire. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, cool. Um, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Mm. <laughs> it's his idea face. It's my thinking face. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 5, well, 10, 15, 20, sorry, 20, 25, jump through the window? 30? Let's see. Well, at the end of a full action, eh, make a strength check. Just like... I am raging, so I have advantage on that, so that would just be a straight roll. It would just be a straight roll, then. All right. Uh, yeah, that's a... 25. Easily enough to shatter a window. Just head yes. first through the you window. You just dive straight out the window. And I am uh, the. I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna hold that door shut so they can't get out. Whew, okay. Dark. I love it. Okay, Quentin. What'd you? Oh, that was a window. <laughs> you He's outside like now. Let's go. Just hear a crash. And I'm like, um, I've got. So I've got a like a. Could I, can I bar the door with something? Like, could I keep it from opening? Like, Do you have you anything have, in your pack that would enable that? I have a glaive on my back, along with my great axe. Let's see. I didn't decide which way the door opens, so call high or low. Hi. Hi, it is. The door opens outward, so you could theoretically brace it with your glaive. All right. There's this glaive I got off that that one, the flint dude. The, the 
Cool. We can't hear you. <laughs> no, we're not we have no idea what's going on. We just You're... heard a window burst. No, they have other concerns. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm, so I'm gonna... Kane's gone, and you heard a window shatter. So presumably that's fine. Barricade the the front door for a second, and then maybe go get some more stuff. To the door. <laughs> that's my turn. Let me oh, go get right. lunch. Mina Moreland. Uh, does it seem okay? Does it seem like they're all still trying to get into that ro- into the room? Uh, you are not. Sh- they they don't. Or do look, they seem pretty? They don't seem like they have a bead on anyone right now. Uh, they are me- mostly just recoiling in pain and uh, coughing a lot. What can I recall? <laughs> like, what can I see into the even moldier room? If one of those windows is accessible. Uh, straight across. Uh, roll my perception. You're indoors, it? so you don't have disadvantage. Yeah, 21. 21. Could just open this window with me, man. <laughs> no, I know. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, you do see a clear shot to... But the uh, window looks accessible. It like looks Like it's not molded accessible. over and all that stuff. Yes, it does look accessible. Okay. Uh, with a 21, you also see that the, uh, that the dead patient zero in there is, uh, wearing a pretty nice brooch. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, my, my thought is to try to get them all in here, because if the mold can flammable, it might be quicker that way, <laughs> was my thought. So I was going to try to go out the other way. That was my initial thought. Go for it, man. <laughs> um, Just grab that nice shiny brooch on your way. Oh, yeah, that brooch, though. <laughs> uh, okay, so I want to, like, Marco Polo, like, call out to them, yes, come in here. Follow my voice! Follow my voice! Grab the brooch. <laughs> Doesn't take an action. And just kind of keep calling out to them. Um, and I'm going to have... <laughs> alchemist fire burst in fire, yes? Like actual fire? Yes. Cool. I'm going to have an alchemist fire ready for when I see the majority, if not all of them, come into the room after my voice. Okay. Very good. Uh, Tris, go out the window. We'll now just let this burn it's... to the ground. Bad guys. It they, is. they should still be blind. Yes, they are. Cool. Uh, so a couple of them, the closer this. ones, they this stagger no toward uh, Tony. This one trips over the chair. Yes. Uh, this one <laughs> is like feeling around for the door, manages to get five feet in. Watch. Uh, it's hard, but I this mean, woman is trying to open the door and finds it locked. Excuse me. Uh, well, barred. No, I'm a barbarian. <laughs> now, these people <laughs> kind of fill in here. They're disoriented, so they're not moving very quickly or with much oh. intent. Uh, mm. Did you drop it at the door? I don't think I'm carrying it. <laughs> oh, then I just was carrying it this whole time? Yeah, where's the bag of rations? <laughs> I think Whoever it's had door. it when he walked in still has it, presumably. All right, then I still have it. You still have it. Um, okay, so I guess, yeah, I'm going to throw the alchemist fire past that guy in the doorway, like, onto the mold that's presumably next to the doorway that I, that we saw. That was yeah, there. there, there's definitely mold there. Yeah. All right. Like you, on the fallen guy. Hurl it? The f- uh, Do you so, want me to roll something? Uh, you can roll it. To yeah. get it past that guy, at <laughs> Just least. Just holding the door shut. <laughs> this is your fault for getting sick! Uh, that's a, yeah, 16. <laughs> All right, a 16? Yeah, that's enough to make it past where I wanted to go. Yeah, that, that's enough to hit the, the target you're looking yes, for. The awesome. chaotic in this party is strong. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, there's a splash of alchemist fire, and it begins, uh... <laughs> How does it react to the mold? Or the so mold the mold like does reactivity. not look especially flammable. The uh, mold okay. looks like it's moist. It's okay. not impervious to the fire, okay. but it doesn't seem like it's especially vulnerable to gotcha. it and might even be slightly resistant. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If that's the cold that we need to get. That's fair. Uh, on the plus side, more of the house is now on fire. And seeming to, like, still catch and still grow? Yeah. Cool. It seems like it's, it's certainly catching. Awesome. I um, believe it's Tris now. That was my held action. Yeah, that was your held action. Mm-hmm. The bad guys. Uh, Tris, it is in fact your turn. Out the window. Out the window. Very good. Taking an action to open it. You don't have to make any checks. And you are out of the building. Uh, 
yeah, how tall is the roof? Uh, about about uh, nine to ten feet. All right, I've got a twenty foot climb speed, so I'm gonna get up on there and see how the fire is progressing from up on the tops. Okay, so you are on the roof. Oh, thank you. Sort of surveying uh, the damage. Neat. You don't see like flame poking out, but there is a spot uh, on the roof that's rapidly blackening. It's probably where you shot the roof. Okay. Uh, and there is indeed smoke starting to come out from between the boards. Okay. Uh, and will that be all? Yeah, that is me. Okay, Kane, still keeping the door closed? Uh, yeah, I, can I feel people are like. You feel. Yeah, you feel people it? trying to push out. I'm just. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's your fault. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is all your fault. Make a strength check. Uh, I didn't attack anyone last round, so I'm not raging anymore, so it's a disadvantage. Okay. You could attack the door? I don't know. I, well, I want to keep it together. Uh, it's, st- I mean, it's still not awful. Hold. Come here, you. Stats, go. Uh, uh yeah, that's a, s- is that athletics? No, yeah, the athletics. strength athletics. Yes, so that's a, that's a 14. 14 is enough to keep the door shut. Nope, nope, back you. Very good. Uh, and that brings us back to Mino Moreland at the top. Um, I will go towards the window and see if I can open it. All uh, right, uh, this one is slightly jammed. Cool. Uh, so do make me a strength check to open it. Oh. How'd you do y'all's stress? <laughs> Athletics. <laughs> Athletes. Cool. That's a one. All right. You uh, lift it up and find that it is stuck. Ooh. Was that an action? Uh, yep. The attempt took yeah. your action. That's fair. Uh, on the plus side, the woman on fire does not seem particularly... In, uh, the blind woman who's on fire does not seem like she's an imminent threat to your personhood. This zombie is on fire! Uh, yeah, that's what I do. And see the broken window, and gonna go out there next turn. Very good. So everybody has a path out. Bad guys at this point, uh, they don't have targets. They are blinded. They are coughing. So you just hear a great deal of commotion and some shouting outside. And the shouting continues. Triss, your turn. From up top on the roof, can I see, is there, what is, is there anyone outside? Is there anyone even near here that is running this way? Roll perception. All that good stuff. Hammer pants told us to do this. 11. All right. Uh, with an 11, uh, <laughs> I'm just holding the door shut. This is burning down. Nothing to see here. Keep going. <laughs> you, you're pretty sure you see some people uh, along the street, so it, it's not like you're completely alone. But you don't see anybody uh, gawking at this point. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, and will that be all? Um, where is the street in relation to? Uh, it's in the direction of Ben at the table. Okay. So if you were to head that direction for so about twenty feet, I'm gonna uh, firebolt the same spot from up top. Okay. So. And then I'm gonna move towards uh, the street while still on the roof, uh, <coughs> with the intention of. Uh, directing traffic, quote unquote, if people do begin to start. Okay, very good. Now that you're on that side of the house, make another perception check. Oh, joy. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, well, that's enough to spot things. Uh, there are two men staring with mouths agape. <laughs> Uh, at the smoke that is beginning to curl out of the sea, uh, out of the the roof. Mm. Just put their heads in a nice box. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work the first time I tried it. Uh, Ow, uh, brain freeze. <laughs> yeah, we have the badges, right? You have the badges. <laughs> Hold up the badge. They don't, uh, they just kind of exchange glances and don't say anything. (laughs) Uh, These are desperate times, and unfortunately, everyone in this house is is under the plague. 
thought we're going with the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. Kane, what would you like to do? Uh, there's there people are still actively. Like, yeah. Are they screaming at this point? Is it, what, what can I hear on it the inside? It is a chorus hard of this. screams. How psychologically hard is this at this point for Kane? For some reason, tough. screaming doesn't seem to uh, doesn't you. seem to affect you all that much. <laughs> yeah. No. It's, but it just I'm sort of thinking about what I'm like. <laughs> the thoughts you're having may or may not be yeah, sandpaper no, on like you, but this this is weird, like back and forth, like they deserve it. No, stop it! Uh, uh, I can't do this. Why can I? Uh, gotta keep them in there. Is the gla Does the is the is the glaive like? Hold Could I use like a like a piton or something to like? Wedge the door shut. Yeah, if you had like a piton, really... you could definitely set it up so that the yeah. glaive is like wedged and you don't have to actively hold it. Yeah, so sort of like I'm just thinking. Away. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he's just gonna you know discretion. Uh, you know. Whoa, crazy! Redeploy. A house on fire. <laughs> don't see that every day. <laughs> okay, people, nothing to see yeah. here. <laughs> Move right along. Here. No more normal adventuring heroics here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he so I'm feel gonna... super heroic right now about all of these things that have just happened. I'm going to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, like, wedge the door shut with a piton. And would I have to leave the glaive there? Like, I can't, I'm not just, like, nailing If you use a couple of pitons, and you can use that as a standard action, you don't have to just yeah, I'm use I'm going to, like, basically just, like, keep the door Yeah, with a few shut. pitons, you're pretty sure you In could cover it so that the door itself is braced without the need for the glaive. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't want to leave any evidence. <laughs> They're like, this glaive was found. Make it a fingerprint it? I think they've got more, <laughs> more problems. I told people that we did this. To a, it, I'm going to just lie through my cat teeth and be like, wasn't us. <sighs> you guys are crazy. Um, all right, I'm going to... Great, you're just, good, man. We can't let them get out and... Yeah, out I'm going to I'm gonna go around the perimeter and see if I see any black smokes leave it, like... Not the smoke, but the black. You're whiskey. looking for plague clouds. Yeah, plague clouds leaving. All right, uh, p place yourself on the map there. All right. Me... So I'll, well, I'll. Then I'm gonna walk. Uh, the street is is over here. Yeah, toward you. All right. So I'm gonna walk around to the back side of the house. This direction. Uh, sure enough, you do not see any uh, any vaporous antagonists making their way out. All right. Can I see Triss, or is it too? Uh, so you don't have direct line of okay. sight. She's not that far up. All right. But you can definitely hear her. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Nina <laughs> uh, Moreland. Screams? Turn. What screams? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Make me one more quick perception check on your way out. Me? Yes. Well, if nobody How many screams, I want to hear her. My like, <laughs> they're, they're just, they're, it's just the plague. Thro the throws of the plague just killing them all. Yeah, there it is. Twelve. They, they set themselves. Twelve. On fire. Okay. I have no new information for you. Uh, Neat. Oh my oh, God! They, should, they killed themselves with our gun somehow. What's that? Hippity hop out there. Hippity hop. You see a door barred with pitons. Nice job. And then I'll. Well, maybe I'll just kind of chill here and take a look around the corner at the street. Stuff. Like a normal person, when a house is burning down, lean up against it, casual lean, mm -hmm. and <laughs> alrighty. Uh, Peeking now. around the corner and looking at the, the street, anything new? Alright. Uh, there appears to be uh, an increasing number of people who are noticing that there's a house on fire and a lot of people are screaming. <laughs> cool. Uh, and especially because it's bad guys' turns and... The screaming reaches a fever pitch, uh, and there's a very well. Mina Moreland, you notice this uh, particularly because of your musical training. Fair. It appears to be that the screams—they're not all happening at the same time, but the tones are in harmony. That's you. However, I really wish I had a recording device, because I kind of want to hear this again. Mm. Oh, you will. I'm sure I will. I wonder if it's going to create, like, a giant play cloud. Yeah, I guess it's probably. And Triss's turns. Oh, yeah, Mino Morland's turns. If fire spreads on that turn, 
uh, fire spreads on Triss's turn. Triss, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, and you said there's a group of people? There do to... appear to be... Uh, a, yeah, people right. are definitely noticing. All right, so then I'm going to run up to them in... Uh, Not a panic, because that won't do well. Uh, I'm going to go try to address the crowd. Alrighty. How would you like to address the crowd? I am going to put on my most deceptive face and say, uh, not to fear, these noble people have uh, set their own house on fire instead of uh, subjecting the rest of this town to the plague. They are heroes, and those screams are miserable and devastating. And this is the terror and the horror that we are faced with as a town to attempt to overcome. Roll deception. <laughs> Ooh. Twelve? Okay. Uh, yeah, so but they really sound like they're dying. In the <laughs> well, they are. <laughs> they sure uh, do sound like they're dying. So <laughs> you don't get hostility in response, but people are staring now with undisguised terror, and several of them cry plague and run off, presumably in the direction of their homes. <clears throat> plague, plague in the red way. This was the news. <laughs> I will. I don't know. I, we here's like where that. we're at. <laughs> yeah, that I was mean, me. <laughs> Kane? Um, I, I guess I'm just going to continue a perimeter around the house and see if there's it, like, people. Fire looks like it's spreading pretty quickly at this point. It's oh, had right. some alchemist fire. Uh, that The far side of the house appears to be burning faster, but this side is beginning to catch too. I'll just keep my eyes on the skies looking for plague clouds. All right. So far, no bogeys in sight. All right. So probably this turn I can make it. I'll just do a double move. All right, Mino Moreland. Looks like your turn next. Uh, looks like the fire is spreading into that room you're uh, sort of uh, that you jumped out of. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you like to do? I'm gonna go. It's one way to deal with the plague, I guess. <laughs> Are you guys gonna set me on fire? We might have. If it comes to it. No, but I think we should put you in the ice box, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna go over to where Tris is. Oh, yeah, it was in that puppet that was frozen for a while. Well, what it said, cold it is like very cold. bad. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cold uh, is very bad. Maybe the ice weasels can help us. What is it? Feed a fever, start a cold, starve a cold. I starve myself. I get really cold. Something like that will probably help. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come up to the... Ice caves. I'll come up yeah. to Triss and the crowd, the whatever remains of the crowd. Um, and this, ho this horrible tragedy unfortunately had to happen in times like this. But let's all bow our heads in a moment of silence. Mino! All right. What are you? The people who are gathered seem inclined to, several of them appear to be praying, uh, but That's yes. That's appropriate too. They have no problem with a, uh, with a moment of and silence. And I'll play some, some, some slow, somber minor chords okay. <laughs> alongside with it. Great. Go ahead and just play the fiddle while Mir burns. <laughs> uh... As you the begin <laughs> to play some suitably mournful and respectful notes, uh, the fire engulfs a certain part of the house you yes. didn't know was significant. And then there is a very loud explosion behind you. Does it look real cool? <laughs> oh, it does. This room right here, the oh. room that you escaped through, uh, you and Kane escaped through that window, oh God. Uh, goes up in a huge plume of smoke. Uh, oh. Flames 
arc into the sky. The screams reach an absolute fever pitch. We did good, guys. And the black, acrid cloud of smoke for just a moment. Damn it. Just a moment. You can swear that you see a long, sharp, beaked face yeah, we can. in the smoke before the roiling clouds disperse. And I think that is a suitable place to end our session for today. Please give it up for Mir's biggest heroes, and we will see you next week. Um.